Today we have come together to witness the new dawn of these two lives. Romance is fun, but true love is something far more, and their love has stood the test of COVID. Sean is my baby brother. He's my childhood bestie, and the one person I can depend on for a laugh, a giggle, and of course, someone to do the heavy lifting. Sean, myself, and the rest of the Phillips litter grew up here. Amongst these very trees, upon these lands, we spent our days climbing barn walls, hide and seeking in the long grass, and building forts. Sean and I were the king and queen of the forest. Wow, have things have changed. Just look around at this fort. A fort complete with white walls, string lights, even eucalyptus accents. But now you have a new queen your beautiful wife beside you. It's pretty surreal to be making a speech at my little sister's wedding. Sometimes it's hard to believe we're still not kids fighting about what to watch on TV. When I was young, Morgan, through all the big and small changes in our lives, you were always there, and I don't think I could ever properly express how grateful I am for that. Everybody talks about how much little sisters need their big brothers, but no one really talks about how much big brothers need their little sisters. I know we don't get to choose our family, but if I could, I would choose you every time. I promised Morgan I would keep this short, sweet, and fun. There are so many stories I could tell. I could tell lots about her childhood adventures, her love for figure skating, <laughs> seemingly endless dance competitions. <laughs> but secretly, I believe she wanted to be a play-by-play -play broadcaster or videographer. I play back the video and found that precious moment captured in time. That single phrase that she spoke <laughs> that so <still> resonates. <laughs> Dad's gonna kill me. <laughs> Famous last words of any adventure style. <laughs> continue to take Morgan as your beloved wife? Will you continue to drive around, singing with her, go on the morning coffee runs, and maintain your annual skating adventure? Will you continue to be a tender, faithful husband? Do you, Morgan, continue to take Sean as your beloved husband? Will you still always take him to the Pokemon stop if he asks you? Will you continue to be a tender and faithful wife? Will you continue to let him be right sometimes? Will you, even through all your debt and three dogs, continue to love and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, and keep yourself only onto her? Will you be the cheese to her macaroni? I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Sean, thank you for always being your authentic self and for taking such good care of my sister. You are my brother, and I couldn't be happier about that. We all love you, and we're so happy you're a part of our family. Um, many years ago, 
On New Year's Eve, Morgan was planning a night out on the town with Sean and her friends. However, not long into her getting ready for the evening, she ended up quite ill. A short time later though, Sean arrived at our door and spent a boring night with us old folks and Morgan just watching Dick Clark's rocket move. It was that moment. We knew he was a keeper. <laughs> Morgan, my beautiful baby girl. Oh, what a spicy child. Always giving me a run for my money. When she was a toddler, if I turned my head for a second, she was running full tilt toward a busy street, giggling her guts out all the way like it was the best game ever. Um, fast forward to today, now married, still spicy. Still the best sense of humor, family-oriented, compassionate. Morgan Elizabeth, watching you grow into such an impressive young woman has been a highlight in my life. <laughs> it always has and always will be an absolute joy to be your mom. Il n'y a qu'un bonheur dans la vie, c'est d'aimer et d'être aimé. And it's by George Sand and Verbiel is, there's only one happiness in life, to love and be loved. So, let us toast Morgan and Sean, and Morgan and Sean, may you always continue to love and be loved. <laughs> You are my partner in crime, my reflection in the mirror, the other half of my soul. Our love comes from listening to the flowers blooming. I give you these bells to you with everything I have, everything I am, and everything I could be, all summed up into the two words, fall in. My love, you are one of the most special people I've ever known. You are silly, goofy, generous, and full of so much love. You are my sunshine on the darkest and rainiest of days, and I've never felt more loved and more special and more important than I do when I'm with you. I'm so excited to be your wife. You are my favorite adventure, and I know things will be all right if you're holding my hand as we continue down the road ahead. kept secret. Very long kept secret. <laughs> I wasn't able to go in your mom's basement for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Then I couldn't go to the bar. <laughs> oh, okay. You want, oh, you wanted a loose cap. I didn't know that. Okay. There we go. Sean and Morgan, you already know that marriage is sharing life with your best friend, enjoying the journey along the way, and arriving at every destination together. Having witnessed your vows of affirmation with all who are assembled here and by the authority of love itself, I do affirm that you have expressed your desire to continue as husband and wife. Sean and Morgan, you may reseal your vows with a kiss. I 